Dandy Davison live weather blogs.com overnight edition. It's about 1.30 in the morning. Currently on September 4th, which is my birthday. I'm happy to be 27 years old today. It's definitely interesting feeling older. Yeah, a little bit older today. But let's take a look at the f current uh, tropical activity. First of all, I would like to show you that we have one area disturbed next to the Cape Verge that have come off, and this one looks like it's going to shoot out to sea. This one down here a little further. This has a westerly component in the computer models that may get it into the islands by the middle of next week. Fiona is going to be a, is a dead uh, animal, and Earl is going for New Finland. Probably the tropical storm before it becomes extra tropical. Taking a look at the satellite picture, here's what I was saying about the. This is starting to look pretty healthy. It has a little bit of dry air in here, but I think if it gets into. Uh, it continues to have its environment somewhat in the same predicament. If this will push to the west as the, tro as the troughs dig in to the north, well, these troughs are going to dig in. I'll keep this on a western heading and in more favorable, warmer water and great environment for a possible development coming up in the next day or so. Wouldn't be surprised to see it as a tropical storm. We're going to take a look at Earl. What's left to Earl? You can see it has a pretty wide open eye now. Uh, eye wall's huge, so it's it's dying. It's a tropical storm with, 85, uh, with 70 mile an hour winds. A lot of rain um, on the Cape, Massachusetts. So, uh, tropical storm and hurricane gusts near Nantucket. Uh, we had also uh, we had a lot of we had some hurricane gusts and some damage here in the Outer Banks, but it could have been a lot worse. And some tropical storm force wind gusts, Long Island down through New Jersey, Delaware, and Maryland. But Nantucket in that area is getting whacked now, and Newfoundland's going to get whacked with probably about a 50 to 60 mile an hour tropical storm coming up here shortly. Let's take a look at the history of Earl. Started out here. The tropical depression way near the out here near the Cape Verde Islands. Did a western heading, stayed north of the islands, strengthened really quick into a category four hurricane. Then went back to a category three when I did a eye wall replacement. Came to category four again, three, two, right off the islands. And now you see where it's going. And its future track is just gonna take it right into Newfoundland and, and become extra tropical. Pretty wide track, normal for when you have the trough out here to the west, coming near the with the Bermuda High to the east, which pushes it up that lane of travel in the east coast. And like I was saying yesterday on my blog for the southeast United States this next month, I would not be surprised to see more storms do this. We're gonna have storms that are probably gonna go into the Caribbean. There's gonna be the other storms when the troughs do not catch it that will have that opportunity to, to be steered by the Bermuda High and make a similar track that Earl does, but remember, if we get the track going a little further west, a couple about 60 miles west, you would have landfall, so it was close for multiple areas for a landfall, but we got lucky in that aspect, and looking at the triad forecast, Saturday 85 degrees, Sunday 83, Monday 80, 82 on Tuesday and 80 on Wednesday, look at the beautiful nighttime sleeping weather that we have, and it's even nicer in the Roanoke Valley where 79 dominates Sunday, 76 on Monday. Jumps back up to 86 for Tuesday and Wednesday, but look at the nighttime lows for Sunday night. Well, 43, it's going to be a little chilly. You need a jacket for that night. But it's going to be beautiful to see that, actually, in the fall weather. Finally getting a fall feel to it here in the Roanoke Valley. Well, this is D&D Davidson, LiveWeatherBlogs.com. I hope you enjoyed the overnight edition, and I will be back later on tonight to give you the new overnight edition. Dean D. Davison, liveweatherblogs.com. Have a great day. I have a great birthday, and y'all stay fun and stay safe this Labor Day weekend.